everybody, welcome back to Auto House in Naples. I'm Haley. And I'm Layton. And two is, is better, better than, than one. one. Today we have a gorgeous, super clean, amazing 2016 Porsche Panamera. And it is a one owner with 41,000 miles on it. Before we get into this beautiful car, uh, make sure and subscribe to our YouTube page, turn the notifications on, follow our Instagram, Facebook, and check out our website. Yeah, and check out our website for all of our current inventory and more information on this car. Awesome. So today we have a beautiful Porsche, Porsche Panamera, and it is in a chestnut brown metallic. It's a, it's a really beautiful color. It really is. It kind of grew on me. When we first got it, I was like hesitant because I would never personally look for a brown car. But now it kind of changed my mind. Yeah. I'm kind of liking it. For sure. It's like one of those things that I didn't ever seek a brown car. But now that I see it and the way in the sun that it like kind of glistens with that metallic paint. Mm -hmm. We also have some Michelin tires on all four. These are the 285-40ZR19s. So we have 19 inch Porsche alloy wheels. We have the turbo, turbo wheels, very nice, clean, the double five spoke, super cool. And so around the back here, this is kind of interesting where the whole car looks like a sedan, but then you have the back here and it's going to open up like a hatchback. So you have the station wagon space, you have the sedan look the sedan look but you have a full cargo area yeah and in the back here you should be able to pull the seat down and if i had the seat up a little bit you'd be able to pull them all the way down super easy just a handle right here and pull it back up nothing too tricky with that and you just have so much space back here so I like the, that cover too. Yeah, the cover's nice. So really you're getting that sedan look where again, you could go pick up furniture mm -hmm. or just Lots anything. Lots of groceries. We have the automatic close again. This is always will be my favorite feature. Maybe I'm just jealous that my car doesn't have it. <laughs> Click that. <sighs> so jealous of that. And it looks absolutely beautiful from the back. It has, it's actually one of the first cars to have a um, sloped back like that. Because Porsche, the first Panameras came out in 2010, I believe. And they were one of the first cars that ever had that sloped back angle, which is really unique. It makes this car such a, you know, Almost one of a kind. I know there's a lot of Panameras, but yeah. it just has such a unique look when you're comparing it to other sedans. Great wheels. Should we hop in the back and yeah, show let's them? Yeah, check the, out. So actually, machines. Porsche's CEO, he's actually like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and he told the engineers and designers whenever they were making this that he wanted to be able to comfor comfortably sit in here and so, if you're under 6465, I'd say it's pretty comfy for you. But that's yeah. actually a really cool thing about this car. And you got so much space back here. And you know, we have, it's actually a nice setup here. If you zoom in in the back, you've got heated seats on both sides, lock, that's gonna be your rear shade. You got your own control, your own vents, cup holder there, another cup holder here, space. And in addition to all that, you still have your armrest with even more space. I actually love that they, um, in these cars, they have the bucket seats in the back. So it is a four seating car, but I think that adds to the luxurious look of the car and mm -hmm. gives it, you know, that unique luxury look because it's not just a typical bench back here. You have those solid four seats. I like that. I think it's cool. Quite frankly, no one sits in the center one anyway. Yeah, no, no one wants the center seat. Yeah, and if they do, they don't like it. Should we get in here? Start it up? Yeah, start up the... Why don't you pop the hood? Okay. I'll do that first. 
So we have a 3.6 liter V6 engine. Beautiful, super clean engine bay in there. It's a seven speed automatic with a manual mode gearbox. Not that I can personally drive manual, but if you wanted to or could, that's pretty awesome. Zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. So not quite the, uh, <laughs> the station wagon. Yeah. But I personally love the look of this. I do too. Nice, beautiful. Close that up. Awesome. Okay. Now onto the inside. And if you just check out the side right here, it's really interesting since this was the very first car that Porsche ever did a sedan model in. So you'll see it. They're, they're giving it still that coupe look. But you have the four doors, which is really cool. The shape of the car is really unique since it was the first model. Now you also got the red Macala. It's more of a brown, but it has that red undertone, which I think is gorgeous. So you have a two-tone interior. Then you also have the tan with that. You have a dark walnut wood and just an absolutely beautiful center area right here. Yeah, it's very clean looking. Even though there's a lot of options, I feel like it's pretty easy to find what you're looking for. Yeah, it looks great. All right, should we, uh, should we go on our test drive? Let's do it. Awesome, safety first. seatbelts on, safety first. Safety first, girls. How fast does this car go? Top speed is 160. Oh no. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll <laughs> test that out. Okay, ladies. So something that's going to be really great about this engine in particular is it's going to have a lower curb weight. So when we turn, you're probably going to feel how smooth it feels turning. It's going to probably feel like a smaller car than it really is. I kind of like these little gear shifters right here, even though I probably wouldn't be driving it in manual, but I, they almost kind of like... Yeah feel nice where your uh, thumb rest right here right so with the manual mode down here on the gear shifter we do have it is Porsche's PDK dual clutch automatic transmission so the PDK transmission yep shifts over not that we're probably gonna do that but it does shift over so uh, the PDK transmission came out in 2009 making this, the Panamera, one of Porsche's first cars to include the PDK transmission. I like right here on this display. So it has the map, but then also with this little knob right here, you mm -hmm. can scroll through. So that's your phone, your trip, oh, tire nice. pressure, your vehicle temps, your audio. Oh, and it has the auto off. Yeah. Have that. <laughs> yeah. And then, but I kind of like the navigation. I do too. You can kind of see where you're going. Yeah. Digital speedometer, my favorite. Yep. 41,000 miles, 239. See that takeoff. I don't know, this Chrysler in front of me might not. Uh, yeah, the minivan's not ready for us to, <laughs> to take off. Yeah. We'll get it up to speed on the freeway though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so right here you have a nice, screen that's going to have a lot of different features on it. You're going to have your, um, what am I thinking, CD player, you've got your radio, phone, so you can hook up your phone, navigation, so confirm, 
awesome. You can store a bunch of destinations in there, which is awesome. And then just also the map. I kind of always like to have the map. Me too. To see where I'm going. Okay, right, test out that zero to 60. Ooh, wow. That's pretty fast. But it was smooth. Like, it, was it wasn't really, crazy. Yeah, you didn't jerk back or anything like yeah. that. It sounded really nice, too. It did. Wow, I really liked that. We and also got a lot of buttons over here. What, were you going to say something? Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say, or talk about the lane change assist, because it just... Oh, is work. that... Oh, I see it right there it, on your screen. Yeah, it makes a little noise. And then it kind of like warns you if you're drifting here. over into another lane, and it just did it to me. So that's is cool. that what that noise was? Yeah. I heard that. I was yeah. like, what is that? That's super cool. So we got a bunch of different buttons right here. We're gonna have the rear sunshade. So I'll click that, and that's just gonna automatically pop up. I think that's awesome when the sun's coming from behind you on a sunset. Mm -hmm. We also have the Porsche crest on the seats i love cars that add that onto their headrests i like this one because it's kind of subtle yeah it is it just blends right in it looks super luxurious these seats look absolutely stunning i love the look that bucket seat look mm -hmm. and they're very comfortable too oh yeah and i love this color too especially yeah. with the brown with the red yeah undertones yeah, I love that brown. This combination in the car, the colors, I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've looked at, I was looking at a bunch of different models just to kind of get a feel for the different combinations. And this is by far my favorite color combination. Yeah. The tan with that, what is it, a uh, Marsala red. It, it's just the slightest red undertone. It's kind of hard to even see in that. Or I think they're working on it. Kind of a bit of a roadblock here. But yeah, it almost looks red in some light and then brown. And then dark brown. Yeah, like yeah. the steering wheel, you can see a little bit of that red. Mm -hmm. I, I love the color. It's really unique. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I really like it. So we got all that. Traction control, sport mode. We've got our heated and ventilated seats. We'll go with the heated for Leighton and oh, the ventilated perfect. for me. Because you're not sweating or anything, I'm sure, since yeah, it's no. super hot out today. And in all black. Oh, wow, I can feel the ventilated seats. Really? Can you feel the heated ones already? Oh, yeah. Actually, Oh, I yeah, right? I didn't know if that was just me from uh Oh, my gosh, it almost side. feels like air is blowing up on the seat. All right, now i got to try this. Oh, you try can have that. both on a for, <laughs> for what purpose? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm hot, but I'm also cold. Let's yeah. throw them both on. Or just maybe, maybe it's just like a... Like a 70 degrees. Oh, yeah. Keep you cool even. Yeah. Just, not too hot, not too cold. I'm not sure. Do you feel the air yeah. in your leg? Wow. The, these seats are... I've never felt a ventilated seat like that. Me neither. I love that. Ooh, that's cool. Especially down here in Florida. I know. It's I like, wish my car had It's this. like air blowing up on you as well. Wow. I feel like ice cubes now. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have the dual control... Um, temperature, which is great. You know, one person's more cold, one person wants it a little hotter. Which I'm always the more cold one. Always. So this is nice. So right? hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm cold. I didn't know if you were watching that. Oh, wait. Oh, oh this is payback for turning the uh, heated massage on in the wagon the other day. Oh, we had sync on. So, oh, so you can control them at the same time. Nice. Oh, for the, uh, yeah, for the heated seat? Yeah. That was brutal. And then we have all our other buttons. Ooh, this is a great one. We got our AC Max. Yeah, maybe, maybe we turn that down just a, just a touch. Back down to low. Oh, you can just hold it down. That makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's cool. 
and then oh individually we can adjust so your side can leave oh i really like that not all cars have that when they have the dual temperature yeah so mine can blow a little harder and then yours not as much that's cool i like that super neat i love all the buttons it really just has a super luxurious look with all the different buttons yeah but still clean right oh, and then we got all the controls right there i like it better than knobs they only got two knobs up there i think that's really nice oh you know one thing I forgot to talk about over here we have that little sticker decal right next to where you insert the key so the Porsche can go faster than 150, but that little speed limit shows you how fast the all season tires are rated to go. Mm. So you've got all season tires on here that are rated to go up to 150 miles an hour. After that, not so much. <laughs> yeah, good. Over here, you also have the Bose premium speakers throughout, so that's gonna give you a nice sounding radio, or if you connect your Bluetooth. We also have, you know, just your lock over here. We have the memory seat settings. just having the one. Over here, a little hidden, you're going to have some additional cup holders. So you don't have to fight over the one individual cup holder. I have that one there, that one there, and that one as well. So that's nice. I love that. So you can just put them away. You don't have to see them. Don't have to worry about them. Yeah. And then it's got that super sleek look. You wouldn't even know there's more cup holders in here. We also have a surprise in the glove box. We have the original window sticker. That's awesome. So it's gonna tell you all of the standard features and all of the optional features that were added onto this car. It's got about $14,000 worth of additional features. Wow. Yeah, so that's awesome. It's got a lot of upgrades. We also have the um, fuel information. It's combined city and highway mile per gallon is 22. The city is 18 miles per gallon, highway 28. So that is awesome. The MSRP on this car was $95,060. So you're getting this car for about half of its original price also have the manual right here it's got all of the original books great condition there and in addition to the key that we're driving with we also have that second key beautiful condition great shape it, it does still kind of mess me up though starting on the left on side the of the left, car me too every time with your left hand yeah and then it are you supposed to use your left hand to start it? I don't know, but it's... It's, it's hard. Like, yeah, I'm not used to it. Because every time I get in one, I still use my right hand and reach over and start it this way. And I'm yeah. like, I know I'm doing this wrong. This can't be right. I love this clock up here, too. Yeah. And then all these controls up here... Oh wow, more buttons. I kind of like how they mimic these down here. Yeah. So it has the same look. They just glide in this thing. No, it's super smooth. You know, the best thing about this too is this is the first generation of the Panamera. So you're getting that original Panamera and this is the last year that they ever made this first generation look. Oh wow, so this is truly an original. Yeah, exactly. So you're getting that original look. 
you're getting the first generation, but it's the latest model. So if you want a first generation, this is the newest version you can get. check out this one owner immaculate 2016 Porsche Panamera on our website autohouseinaples.com and let us help you drive your dream. dream.